This recipe is by Saskia Loman and Chris Kirindongo, two Curacao locals who have immense appreciation for everything from the island. Hi, my name is Chris Rosa, and today I'm at the Tasty Kitchen to make stoba. So in a food processor, you would add cilantro, your green bell peppers, red onions, garlic, and a little bit of olive oil, and you would process this until the mixture is a little bit chunky. So after you're done with your sofrito, then you can make your stoba. To start with your stew, you have to toss your spare ribs in your sofrito until it's fully coated, and then leave it to marinate for at least 20 minutes at room temperature. Plantains are very popular in the Caribbean, so I'm creating a shredded plantain bedding for our stew. And as a true Curacaoan would say, it's like un plato criollo, meaning it's a Creole dish stemming mostly from our African heritage as well as other cultural influences that makes Curacao one of the most multicultural hubs in the Caribbean. This recipe is also a staple on the islands of Aruba and Bonaire. We will later serve this stew in a coconut, which is a very popular droop in the Caribbean, if you're using cured pork tail as I am right now, you would have to simmer it for 15 to 20 minutes to get rid of some of the salt. But if you're using uncured pork tail, you may need to actually add salt to the recipe. And at this point, we're adding some coconut oil, garlic, and onions to our pot and cook them until they're a little bit brown and fragrant. Then you can add your pork tail, water, your marinated spare ribs, as well as a little bit of salt, and you can cook this for 90 minutes until your meat is tender. The water will evaporate, so if you need to, just add a little bit more water. After 90 minutes, you add your green papaya, your ripe papaya, some mango to substitute sugar, and sweet potato, your spices, and some coconut water, and then you stew it for another 45 minutes. You know your stew is ready if your papaya is cooked all the way through. Cause it's a papaya stew, right? Papaya is a very sweet fruit, but the sweetness is complemented by the saltiness of the pork tail that will make all your taste buds just harmonize in celebration of an amazing flavor. For this recipe, we're not wasting anything. So I'm also baking off my papaya seeds and use them as a garnish for my stew. To maximize the island effect, we're serving our stew in a coconut with our baked plantain wrap. You know, my grandma in Curacao has no idea what tasty or the internet is, but this is as delicious as the papaya stoba that my grandma used to make me as a kid. So grandma, if you ever see this, I love you. Oh yes!